Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Saturday, September 9th I think it is. It's been a very long time, maybe two, possibly three weeks? No, I think it's only been like two weeks since I vlogged. I was on a good roll for a good week, <laughs> daily vlogging and everything, but things got in the way and then I just stopped. Right now I'm actually cooking some breakfast, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm currently making some eggs, so I got two eggs here. I also got myself some cheese, because I want to have cheesy eggs, and I'm going to have it in a sandwich, so I got some wheat bread. And to help save some dishes, I'm just gonna scramble my eggs. I'm a little ninja here, so that'll help save some dishes. I can't even talk right now. That'll help save some dishes because I have a huge pile over here of dishes that need to be cleaned. Gotta get some stuff done. It's a little bit of a mess. Dishes gotta be done. I have to do some research on some psoriasis stuff for my scalp. I'll leave my psoriasis video in this. Oh my god. I don't think I'm honestly awake enough right now to be able to like, talk because I can't even talk right now. I do have a psoriasis video on my situation with my scalp. It's like a skin disorder, I guess you can say. And um, I wanted to share that with you guys. So I posted it a while back and now I'm doing some new research because I haven't done it in a long time. And I'm looking to see if there's anything new out there to kind of cure it because right now mine's pretty bad. So I got to do that. Time to relax and just do things that I got to do and kind of just like really want to do. So. I'll make myself some breakfast now, and I'll see you guys after. So I just finished my breakfast. I should have filmed it. I don't know why I didn't, but it was just a basic egg sandwich, pretty much, and some oranges. And it was really feeling really good. But now I'm heading off to my parents to do some laundry this weekend while Pedro goes to his parents. And today I'm wearing basic laundry stuff. So today I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt that I wore to the rave that I recently went to. And then I'm wearing some basic blue jeans. No makeup today. I'm most likely going to do a scalp treatment on my hair for my psoriasis. Today I gotta go buy some stuff and then I'm just being all natural today so gonna look like this for now. But I'm gonna go head on out, head on out. I'm gonna head on out now to meet Pedro because he's staying Kaya so I got some dog food for her and I'm not gonna take the camera today so I'll see you guys when I get back and hopefully we're gonna be doing something interesting today. I don't know so this is a bad angle. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I am back from doing my laundry for my mom's house. I have so many things going on in my house right now. So I have my air conditioner because it got pretty warm. I have my dishwasher going on because we had a lot of dishes. And now I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner, which honestly is not going to be ready for five hours. And it's like past five. So it didn't have to be ready till like a long time. So we might just have it for lunch tomorrow, but I'm going to have it ready and prepared for tomorrow. But I really wanted to make it so... And I'm born right now, so I'm just gonna make it right now. So we're making meatloaf in a crock pot. So I got my ingredients here, so I'm sorry you can hear um, everything is kinda loud. So these are the ingredients I have. I got some breadcrumbs here, so just some basic plain ones. Worcestershire, I can never say that, Worcestershire sauce. I got some corn, because this is what we're gonna have with the meatloaf. I got an onion, yellow onion, and a carrot, just one. And then I also have two eggs, one meat, which I have the meat defrosting and sink over there. And then I also have all these ketchup packets. And the reason why I have all these ketchup packets is because I forgot to get ketchup and I'm not going to go to the store right now. So I'm hoping that all these ketchup packets make enough ketchup for what we need, which is one fourth a cup. And hopefully by the time uh, Pedro gets up from his nap, we can head over to the store to get some more to have um, just as a topping on top of it. So yeah, because I know I really like a lot of ketchup on my meatloaf. So hopefully do that. Then besides that, I also got some potatoes because this recipe is like meatloaf, but then it has, it asks for carrots and potatoes to go on like the side, almost like a pot roast to go on the side of the meatloaf. So I figured that's a nice little side, so why not try it? So I got that. So that's why we have the carrot and the potato. So I have my meat defrosting here, and it looks ready. It was like super frozen for, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this into the bowl. Let's do this. I was forgot to mention it calls for milk, so I have some milk here as well. Okay, so I found this recipe off of Pinterest, and I've made it before. I just never cut the recipe, so I found this new one. This is what it looks like. This is the one I found. It looks good. So you see the potatoes and the carrots there and the meatloaf, so hopefully it turns out like that.
just finished. Oh, sorry, the flickering lights. Yeah, they're still acting up. One of them's still going out, so probably a show party in here. Not really. But anyways, just finished prepping everything. I cut up the potatoes and carrots here. Got my meat ready. I have my sauce in the fridge for five or six hours from now to put onto the meatloaf once it's practically ready. And I just opened up my crock pot that I got a freaking year ago, washed it and everything, and it's ready to go. All right, guys, so I finished the meatloaf. So here it is, cooking. And that's what it looks like. So it was definitely a lot more mushier than I expected. And I cooked way too many potatoes and carrots. So it's mostly carrots and potatoes and a little bit of meat in the middle. But I'm sure it'll turn out just as fun and just as good. I was like trying to figure out the contraption because it seems like it's just so close like this. But and there's just weird thing on here. So I gotta read the directions on what to do with that. But yeah, five or six hours, it should be ready to go. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. And I didn't finish yesterday's vlog per usual. Pretty much, I had my sister and her boyfriend come over. We had a few drinks. Play a little Guitar Hero, watch some TV, they played games, and I just did her makeup. We just kind of relaxed at home. But anyways, um, meal up is done, and it was done yesterday, but because it's ground turkey, it doesn't look right, and the recipe didn't call for any seasoning besides salt and sage. Prior to putting in the cooker, slow cooker thing, whatever, I thought that was kind of weird, because usually you would season meat. Like, I would, my mom usually puts meatloaf season, seasoning in it, but she didn't ask for it in this recipe. So... I decided to add a little bit of seasoning myself because I was worried that it wasn't going to taste good. So I added a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of the lari seasoning, just a tad bit on the top. And then now it's done and it asked for me to put the topping on top, which is that mixture of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, and I think that's about it that it asked for. Um, so this is what it looks like as it's cooking for the next 30 minutes. It looks like that and it kind of looks really gross on camera, but it tastes decent. Pedro and I tasted it yesterday without the seasoning and the topping and stuff like that, and it was really good. I mean, it's ground turkey. I mean, next time I'm for sure going to be making it with beef. I try to be healthier, but honestly, sometimes you just got to use real stuff because it just doesn't taste the same. So, yeah. So, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to have that for lunch rather than dinner, so it's nice and fresh. And it's already like 12 o'clock anyways. We kind of just woke up because we stayed up super late last night. Especially Pedro stayed up till 3, I stayed up till like 12.30. And then trying to figure out what we want to have for breakfast. We actually have eggs today. So we're going to have eggs, toast, orange juice, waffles, because we have blueberry waffles. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to have. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day because it's the last day of the weekend. And I know we usually like to do something fun. So we'll see what's going to happen for the rest of the day. Currently waiting for Peter to get home from the store. He went to the store to get some ketchup and some milk because we needed that for the mashed potatoes and the meatloaf that I made in a crock pot with turkey. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use ground turkey for meatloaf again because I made it one other time it was okay. This time it was not that great, but hopefully he'll enjoy it by smothering it in ketchup. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to wear makeup today because yesterday I went the whole day without makeup till the end of the night and my face felt so refreshed and clean and then I slept with it on. So I think I'm going to take it all off. I'm gonna take it all off and maybe put some mascara on and that's it just to give my face a break because I feel like my skin's been acting weird, especially my scalp. Could be just my eating habits, I don't know. I have read so many different things on my scalp and why it acts up and get this weird psoriasis thing going on. But I'll see you guys later. Hopefully we do something interesting and I'll show you guys our meal when we set up the place and everything before we devour it. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Why is it so close to my face, man? I'm not. Kaya, 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 kaya